welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Hey, what's going on everybody? This is John J. Gaiman on the mic here. We got game six of the Eastern Conference semifinals where your Cincinnati Royals are going to go ahead and take on the Atlanta Hawks. It's going to be a really good one. So make sure you smash that like button for me and also hit that subscribe button for me as well if you like what you see here on the channel. As we go ahead, get things underway right now. And I'll tell you what, my guy, we won the tip off. We're going right to Ron Valabiti. They're wasting no time double teaming him, but leaving Michael Porter open. But he misses the shot, surprisingly. And so they go the other way with it. Ron Valabiti's actually called for the foul as well. Looks like the Atlanta Hawks, they made an adjustment here, game, here in game six. They will are not going to let Ron Valabiti beat us that easily. As he's already out of the game, he's facing some early foul trouble here, man. He's already got a couple of fouls as well. As now they're just taking advantage of the interior early on. As Atlanta off to a fast start here early. 7-2 game. It's Michael Porter trying to move the ball around a little bit. Get it to Josh Green, but he can't make it happen either. Slow start, and now Atlanta going the other way with it. Get the steal the other way, though. Here comes Halliburton, other direction, green, free, misses, but Tyrese Halliburton gets the rebound still. He's found by John Collins and Tyrese Halliburton, our fifth overall pick from our very first draft that we had as a Cincinnati Royals franchise. He does end up making both those free throws as well. And we still have a little bit of deficit to face, 12 to 6 right now. Trying to get the ball around a little bit here is Grant Williams going to try to get into the middle. But he's, Tyrese Halliburton gets fouled again. That's his second foul, so now he's out of the game as well. Emmanuel Moutier, that means he has to come in and play some important minutes for us. And we need to get it going here quickly as we cannot allow this team to get too ahead of us right now. And that's too easy for Trey Young as well. As now we get things, you know, we start to go a little bit back and forth, but still facing a seven-point deficit right now. As the Hawks move it around, Trey Young, corner three, Emmanuel Moody with a good enough contest, but can't get the rebound initially. Thankfully, they don't allow many points this time around. We try to get it back to a five-point game. Michael Porter Jr. moving the ball around. Got Dana Madison on him, but Moody open for free. Taking advantage of the lack of defensive presence by Trey Young. Four point game, baby. Now we're going for that lead right there as Malik Beasley gets the and one to go. The backups stepping up here. And it makes it an even closer game as we get another steal going the other way with it. Kersey getting the Derrick Jones Jr. Contact finisher. Full effect right here, man. Laying it down. You'll love to see it. But it still remains a four-point game as Jordan Clarkson tries to pull up from the mid-range. That's no good. We're going to try to get some points the other way and get it to Kersey who throws it down as well. The late first-round pick for the Cincinnati Royals as well. Making it now a two-point game. Big stop possession here. We have a chance to tie this thing before we go into the end of the first quarter. As it's blocked. It's blocked. We're going the other way, but we turn the ball right back over. A beautiful opportunity to tie this thing up, and we screw it for ourselves. As we get to the end of this first quarter, man, four-point game. Malik Bees are going to try to cut into it. And he does. One point game. Let's go. We got to make a stop here. Three seconds left. Mike Conley pulling up. That's no good. What an end to this first quarter, man. And your Cincinnati Royals, we dig out of the early hole. We only have a one point game separating us here in game six. 
Can this home field advantage help us out through the rest of this game, though? We got three more cores to find out. Let's see what we can do. Let's go. All right, man. So second quarter is now officially underway here. We have a one-point game right now as we force a miss. But of course, we can't get the rebound and Jordan Clarkson does end up making us pay here getting the three pointer to go off of the offensive rebound and now it's it to a four point game as well waiting for somebody to move around Tyrese Halliburton open in the corner briefly but then here comes Valabiti he's double team splits the double team but decides to pass it instead it turns into a great decision Derek Jones Jr. laying it down once again what a high flyer that we get to work with here, man. You certainly love to see that as we get a block from Ron Valabidi. As they're going down court on the fast break. Trying to get it to Valabidi, but we can't execute. We turn the ball over. Atlanta going the other way with it. Mike Conley taking it to the cup and lays it up for John Collins. Alley oop slam. And now it's back to a three-point game as Cincinnati tries to respond here. Valabiti trying to pull up. That's no good. Okafer gets stripped from behind. And now Atlanta has another fast break. Kevin Herter gets an easy shot on that corner baseline. And the lead grows a little bit bigger for Atlanta. To start the second quarter reminds me of how the first went down as Michael Porter Jr. He forces something up as well. He even had Josh Green open, but simply did not see him there. As Atlanta gonna get another easy bucket as a result of that, and the lead grows bigger. Seven point game now, another turnover for Cincinnati. Gotta quickly get back on defense and trying to get a stop as Valabidi was there. But he fouls once again. And it's foul number three for Ron Valabidi. Not a good first half for the number one overall pick. And it's a big reason why we're down by nine right now. Could be up to 11. As Valabidi couldn't risk getting another foul. He's already in some foul trouble. So Trey Young gets an easy layup as a result of that. And also again another layup there as well. So now the lead's double digit. We desperately need a response. Hopefully we get one from Michael Porter Jr. But another miss free. You know, shooters are just not making their shots right now. So you hate to see that. Although Ron Valambiti, he gets to rebound the very least. Go in closer to the cup. And Michael Porter Jr. does end up making that shot at the very least. Get it back down to single digits temporarily. But how long will that last? Trey Young's hot, but so is Emmanuel Moody. We're trying to poke the ball loose, but it refuses to go our way. And they still have a few seconds left on the shot clock. Gets a screen. Trey Young pulling up, and we're very fortunate. He missed that, but now here comes Moody. He got the takeover badge, taking on the teeth of the defense. He's found by Deontay Hunter and Emmanuel Moody. He's been having himself a day, man. 17 points already. If it wasn't for him right now, I have no idea where we would be at right now. Is Moutier going to get it to Malik Beasley? He misses, though. And so here comes the Atlanta Hawks once again. Going to Hunter. Misses the shot, though. Going to go the other way with it. Got Malik Beasley down the way, but turns the ball over. They gotta get back on defense quickly. Grant Williams with the chase down block. Now we have an opportunity. Fast break. Derrick Jones, bang! Three point play. And some momentum that we get to work with going in to halftime. And we certainly needed that right now. Thanks to that three point play, it becomes just a six point game. And it's been pretty even with the exception of the turnovers. Atlanta has eight steals and we only have three ourselves. But Manuel Moutier, best performer of this entire first half though. He has 18 points and three assists to go with it. Off the bench by the way. 
Donovan hasn't gotten much play time as of late in this series, but Manuel Moutier, he's been making a difference. That being said, though, we'll see if that's going to be enough to go ahead and get the dub here in Game 6 and force a Game 7 in Atlanta for these Eastern Conference semifinals. First, we got to take care of business here. John Collins left open and makes us pay for it, but thankfully he was had his foot on the line. It only counts as two points. Can't be leaving John's co Collins open like that, though, because he can certainly make that shot so um, defensive mislap by michael porter jr as josh green goes the other way he lays it down in transition slice it right by kevin herter in the process and we got it back down to a five point game now kevin herter playing with the ball getting into john collins for another alley oop it's been a high scoring game already 73 to 68 we're just getting started here as Valobiti does end up getting fouled. He's been pretty quiet, only six points and four rebounds in the first half. He's been dealing with some foul trouble. So hopefully he does a little bit better here in the second half so that we have him on the floor a little bit more. As Valobiti going the other way and gets it to Michael Porter. Who gets it to Green? Who's got the Green Bean Machine? Josh Green back down to a four-point game. As we move the ball around some more, we had J Josh Green open. He had the heat check ready to go, but Valabiti gets stripped before he can make the pass, and it turns to a Kevin Horder mid-range jumper. He's money from that spot. This is a six-point game going up to Deontay Hunter, who's found by Lamar Kersey. DeAndre is going to go ahead and make both those free throws. So the deficit now back up to an eight-point game now. Going to try to get into it a little bit here. Josh Green going to Lamont Kersey who lays it off. Easy transition. That's how we're going to be able to get back into this game, man. We have to get more plays like that where we get those stops on defense and then immediately start running because we have the athletes on the floor right now to definitely be deadly on a transition as Mike Conley takes a hard free somehow misses it but John Collins get the rebound he's blocked and now here comes Dwalabidi with the lay in and now it's back down to five once again as Manuel Moutier he gets stripped from behind Dana Madison going across the court with it he's stripped from behind though here comes Cincinnati Manuel Throwing it up and he's fouled by D Bradley Grady. I'm pretty sure he's a rookie this season. He makes both free throws. Just a three-point game. And we have an opportunity to tie right here, right now. We'll see if we can do just that as we try to move the ball around. But we turn the ball over once again. You absolutely hate to see it. Is Grady going to get it to Mike Conley? Open for the three. That's good to go. And it's back up to a two-point, two-possession game. As Conley tries to make it free, but can't get that jumper to fall. As we go the other way with it, Jones Jr. Gets it to Malik Beasley, who has a little bit of the leaner. And gets that one to fall. Atlanta does end up taking a timeout. As it's a back-and-forth affair. Cincinnati certainly not giving up. This was a team that was blown out by the same squad back in Season 1. And we're giving them everything they can handle here in the Eastern Conference playoffs. That being said, Trey Young pulling up. That's going to be good. He's still a major problem as we go into the end of this third quarter. And so here we go. One quarter of basketball left. Can we hang on here? Cincinnati down by eight and we need to make a run in order to keep our season alive let's see if these Cincinnati Royals have what it takes to keep this thing rolling so let's go man fourth quarter officially underway it's time to get this thing underway as Manuel Moutier had the green light but he's blocked from behind so an easy bucket for us does not go and it turns into an Atlanta bucket 
the other way. Deontay Hunter gets the putback. 95 to 85. As we try to move the ball around, Grant Williams pulling up in and out, surprisingly. Grant Williams usually does a good job of hitting that mid range jumper as Dana Madison goes the other way with it. And not how we need to start this game whatsoever. It's back up to double digits thanks to Vadis Trey Young. Tries to hit the three, but it's well contested. Almost didn't hit the rim as, as well as Emmanuel Moutier. Going to take it up, take it on Trey Young. He's a defensive liability. And he's fouled, and Trey Young is getting pretty close to fouling out here. We'll see you know, how that plays out for the rest of his game. As If we can somehow make Trey Young foul out, that would be really helpful right now. He's still the best player on this team, and whenever their best player is on the floor, we're able to at least go in and have the opportunity to go and uh, at least uh, close his gap a little bit as we try to get it to Grant Williams, but he's just too slow with the put-up. Um, so uh, Quinn Capel was able to contest, but we can contest that shot too as we force both misses from Trey Young's layup attempts as Michael Porter Jr. lays it on Trey Young. Put the man on a poster, and it's a nine-point game now. Valabidi going to Grant Williams, laying it up. No good, but Valabidi, he's got it good to go, and he's got to take over badge as well on top of it. We keep fighting forward, keep crawling back, but Trey Young, he's still a problem trying to climb his way through. No good, though. 104.95 for down for Cincinnati as Velobiti lays it up and it's good back down to a seven point game but we gotta get a stop though we've had a hard time with that here today we gotta get that stop on defense we need it to get our offense rocking and rolling here Kevin Herter with it gonna try to drive into the teeth of the defense it's no good though that's the stop we need here comes Cincinnati Valabidi bang five points game let's go now with less than four minutes left Dana Madison he can't hit the layup either Cincinnati going the other way once again taking on the defense Valabidi trying the barrel forward he's going to end up being fouled by Quinn Capella and Ron Valabidi he's going to be able to make his free throws for the most part but still a five-point game despite that. As we try to inbound it in, that's no good. Kevin Herter even has the takeover badge going, but still misses up close. That only applies for a perimeter shot, and Michael Porter Jr. lays it down the other end. And so it's going to come down to this last minute 20. We're still in this thing. Just got to execute right here. Halliburton, he misses, though. That's what we needed. That was a great look. I'm not even mad that he took that shot. But of course, Clint Capella gets the rebound. And Michael Porter Jr. fouls him. Atlanta in the bonus. Clint Capella ends up making one of two free throws there. 121-117. Josh Green with a great contest without fouling. Here comes the Royals though. Halliburton pulling up. Bang! His foot was on the line. That now makes it a two-point game. We're down to the last 35 seconds. We don't need to foul, but we got to play better defense than that, though. Why would you switch that? We, you hate to see it. I'm just a loss for words. And now we need a shot here. Can we get Michael Porter Jr. open? Potentially, we do. He's got that one, but his foot was on the line again. So instead of it being a one-point game, that's a two-point game now. Now we're in a position where we absolutely have to foul here. Of course, we don't have to do too much fouling because they already are in the bonus. But we really need to go ahead and try to at least hope that they miss one of these free throws. Dana Madison, he makes the first one. Can Dana Madison make the second free throw as well? It would make it. A two possession game to make it infinitely harder on us, and he does. So we gotta go ahead and take a timeout. And we need this shot to go right here. 
Michael Porter still has a takeover badge. He gets a good look at it. Can he make it though? He misses. And we can't get the rebound. And that's going to like we put a dagger in us right here, man. And the Cincinnati Royals lose in six games to the Atlanta Hawks. Atlanta end up pulling this thing by a final score of 130 to 123. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the stats for both teams in what was a very exciting game. All right, so checking out the stats for us first and Michael Porter Jr. He was actually the one that led the way in scoring. He had 27 points, three rebounds, and four assists. Manuel Moutier also had a fantastic game. He was 23 and five. Ron Valabidi, he came strong in the second half. He had 22 points and nine rebounds. Tyrese Halliburton, too, had a solid game, 16-6 and 8. You know, we did the very best that we could, but it just wasn't enough. Trey Young, even though he didn't play the entire game, he scored 33 on us once again. John Collins, though, came huge, though, almost had a triple-double. 25 points, 13 rebounds, 9 assists. The dude went off. And so did Kevin Herter, who had 18. Dana Madison had 11, and Jordan Clarkson with 9. So there it is. We actually got eliminated by the Atlanta Hawks in 6 games. We put up a fight. We had a heck of a season for an 8 seed. This was also a team that had the worst record in the NBA. So, I mean, nothing to be ashamed of here. We, you know, did everything that we could. We made it to the playoffs, and we did well in the playoffs for the most part, man, but... Now we'll go ahead and find out who is going to be the NBA champion over in the West. The Golden State Warriors defeat the LA Lakers in four games, while the Atlanta Hawks do win in seven. Will the Atlanta Hawks be the champions here in NBA 2K21? Could go either way, but it looks like the Golden State Warriors do win the NBA Finals, doing it in five games. Stephen Curry was an absolute threat out there, 33 points. 12 assists as well even at six rebounds he gets involved as well three and a half steals too this man was absolutely insane so congratulations to the golden state warriors on a great season and an nba championship with stephen curry capturing another finals mvp award and now cincinnati royals man we are at a crossroads at one hand we finished about midway in the nba so we should still try and rebuild to a degree but at the same time though we show that we can compete in the playoffs and we lost to the eventual champion of the eastern conference so i feel that we're one star away but you know what i need you guys to let me know what your opinion is what should i do not saying that i will do it but what should i do let me know down in the comments as well and if you enjoyed today's cincinnati royals action do me a favor, smash that like button, and hit subscribe if you have to be brand new and like what you see here on the channel. This is John Jay Gaming on the mic signing off. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. Take care, everybody.